Hi, I'm Eric the Red. And I'm Rick Chateau. And today we're taking a look at Red Bull Purple and Red Bull Lime on News to the Caffeinated. Yay! Um, so it's purple and lime. We've got a color and a flavor. A color and a flavor. Are you, you saying purple ain't a flavor, son? Dude, there are so many purple flavors, although many of them are grape. I look like it's 5 o'clock in the morning rather than 8 o'clock at night, I feel. Yep, I think this is setting the record for the latest in the day that we've actually sat down to do one of these. It's approximately uh, 8.20-something p.m. Good time on, to get caffeinated. On football Sunday. Apparently a big game of sports ball is going on right now. So we're uh, we're doing what any good uh, warm-blooded American idiot would do and sit here and... And rev- what a... Apparently what a Bernie Sanders would do. <laughs> and sit here and review an Austrian beverage. Two Austrian beverages. I did not know Of questionable Austrian. fruity origins. Here's what I would like to find out for my follow-up video for this. How does that affect freaking what is it, Jaeger bombs? <laughs> You actually gonna do a boost at the caffeine? I'm gonna do a boost. You gonna put it together so we can put it on the site? You hear that? I'm gonna He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. It's an excuse to keep drinking. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Boost of the caffeine. But right now we're doing this. I'd like to point out that right now this is probably this is also the first caffeine I've had for the day at 8:30 at night, and I've had a freaking migraine for the past like four hours. So well, hopefully this, this does is something about necessary. it. So a little bit of backstory as to what I I think is the importance of doing these drinks is we've been not so in t- intentionally biased against Red Bull as an energy drink company. Um, we've steered heavily towards Monster and Rockstar, who you know they're the underdogs, and just it's based on personal preference their and flavor is better they're cheaper in general in, they've in, got the wide mouth in any case it's we've really lost a lot of our subjectivity by doing this um i know it ultimately comes down to personal preference that's where those scores come from it's how we feel it's all about price and price too yeah but truth be known red bull is i believe still the most popular energy drink company in the world so and they have a lot of they finally after all these years started branching out and doing other things and not just doing other things these two drinks are both sugar free i did not realize that is not something that red bull is really known for they have a couple of you know uh fan service drinks out there that oh we'll, we'll, we'll do these low sugar low carb and maybe one of these i don't know why it really bothers me that both of them the top is the same i did not notice that and now you don't now you you now you know because if you don't know now you know eric so all those things together i felt it was our duty to uh to take it upon ourselves to Put our biases against Red Bull aside and try these new sugar-free drinks and to let you know if they're worth your time. Because we'll know very shortly if they're worth ours. Okay, are we starting with green or purple? Well, do we want to start with one and then go to the other or do we want to just open them both and then do the old switcheroo? Let's do purple and then we'll do green i don't want us to do the switcheroo oh, that, yeah, because then we end the up taste with taste and then the flavors and the tongues and the burning i'm more thinking about uh implicit bias because if you say that the drink is good then i'm gonna go into drinking the drink expecting the drink to be good and it'll uh it'll affect my mental state okay regarding this. all right that's what that's what we'll do mm-hmm. all right we're doing it all right, so we asked the important question, what does a purple taste like? And in the case of this uh, purple edition sugar-free Red Bull, this is, uh, purple is artificial acai berry flavored. Not what I was expecting. Yeah, I was, I was thinking, oh, it was going to be grape drink. Grape drink, but, but acai. Yeah. Or acai. Yeah, and it's just 
it's they're right up front. It is it is artificial artificial SI flavor. However, the hell you pronounce that drink? Hmm. Uh, don't look at that I'm one just later. Looking. Um, it has something to do with my hands. Um, caffeine content um, in this twelve ounce can is one hundred and fourteen milligrams mm. for this twelve ounces. Need so how that rounds up to a sixteen ounce? I believe it's it's about on par with. Um, the regular Red Bull. You can correct us if we're wrong, or if I'm feeling so inclined, I'll put it in the comments down below. Consistency-wise, it is the same. However, the size of the can... Yep, and as we noted when we did um, Red Bull uh, as part of the Daily Drinker series, this also has the ridiculously undersized um, mouth hole. I don't know if there's a proper term for that. I call it a mouth hole. That sounds accurate, but technically isn't a mouth already a mouth hole? True. Yeah. And just to prove that we haven't been sitting on these drinks for a long time, because last week's, oh, we sat God, on for a yes. long time. This is uh, this expires in December of this year. What? So these, this, is, uh, this is very new, very fresh. Remind me what the date on last week's drink was. Uh, it was July 2016. It is now 2017. Maybe that's why I feel we like are I'm in dying. the second month of 2017. And it was supposed to taste like passion fruit. It tasted like apples. But, you know, you're going to have to go check that video out for yourself. Mm-hmm. So amp let's... passion fruit. That was our, has been our only amp video so far. Yep. And I, I mentioned... Check the amp video right here. If we... You're giving me extra work, man. I know. Ooh. It's a slight fruity, almost spicy aroma now filling the air. That smells good. I'll give it that. Yeah, it's very pleasant. It's not assertive, um, but it's it's kind of sweet and delicate and a little spicy. So mm -hmm. let's do the old pour a Rooney here. Ooh, that is a nice color. That, it is. There's something very pleasant and cranberry about it. It's a little darker than cranberry, I'm inclined to believe. Hmm. There you go, if you want to pour some I'm out yourself. I'm going to quote a video game and offer to send somebody a free energy drink if they can name the game. Looks to be cranberry flavored. If you can tell me what game that's from in the comments, I'll send you an energy drink of my choosing. Can, can I enter? No! You know it! I know. Mm hmm So and it's a it's a very pretty burgundy red. It's, Dude, it matches your shirt almost. Yeah, this mm. it's quite lovely. So we'll <clears throat> stop talking and start drinking. We'll sleep no more dead. Red Bull, you've done it. I don't know what this is supposed to taste like, but I I wow, like it. This this is damn pleasant. It's. I am so happy that it wasn't grape drank. It. I think. It, I almost feel like it should have been a red can, but. I think it works, especially with the. Uh, oh man. The the shade of anodized purple that they went with. I think it works. Okay. 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 Yeah. This is very good. I'm surprised, Red Bull. I'm surprised. I don't, I don't know if I've ever had a straight-up acai-flavored beverage. I think there's some Sobe drinks that are have acai in them, but I've never had something that's supposed to be straight-up acai. I mean, and granted, it, no it is artificially flavored, it. but this, yeah, this doesn't taste like anything I've had before. No, it's, a, it's like trying to imagine a new color. Imagine a new fruit flavor. This is nothing like any other energy drink I've experienced, but and for strangely sugar, familiar. And for a sugar-free drink, I am getting no bitterness. I'm getting none of that medicinal flavor. It's just, it tastes sweet. If you didn't tell me this was sugar-free, I would not know. It's very well hidden. Let's see. Um... Sweeteners, uh, sucralose, which is Splenda, um, Ace K, which I know there's another name for it, but that's common. Uh, that's it. There's no Nutrasweet or slash aspartame. If um, 
Hmm. You're not into that sort of thing. So or they went with uh, artificial it, sweeteners that aren't the yeah, standard. Yeah, well, there's typically in a, a lot of the energy drinks, they use a blend of three or four different sweeteners. And here they only use two. And the the fact that uh, the Splenda is so far, so far up the ingredient list, hmm. that's why it tastes so much sweeter. Hmm. Um, it's just at that borderline of this could be unpleasant, but it fades away nicely. Oh. Times wow, like these, that's good. Times like these, I wish Red Bull had bigger cans. Well, they do have bigger cans, but they're like, what, five bucks each? What is original Red Bull supposed to taste like? Wings. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't add blue cheese to it. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. I didn't mean to pour that's all fine. of it. All right, it's fine. But you heard b- it. Before, before you drink any more of that... Mm. Um, I know how I've criticized you in the past for taking such big drinks because and because as you've explained it, it changes the flavor to take a big gulp of it. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, ah, whatever. Um, I my, The last of what I had in my cup, I took in I took in two pretty good sized gulps and the flavor did change in that regard. So go ahead and do your normal doing big... sippy nows. I've, I've, I've been doing like I did, okay. the, I did like a, t- a little taste, a taster roomy, if you will. And then I just was like. Going for it, cause. Mm. Well, I mention it because when I when I did the chuggeruni, I got I got kind of a fresh off the bush black fair, blackberry flavor. Uh, okay. Like it's yeah, not like it. that that little bite of the you know when they're yeah. not quite ripe, but you're like I'm eating them anyway. They're fresh and delicious. Mm-hmm. The you know the back of the sides of the tongue. That's the one. The bitterness centers. So, shall we move on to the green Rooney, or should yeah, we and, try and again, giving this, it a score Rooney? This is going to be oh God, that's hilariously look. keyed. Look at <laughs> that floating ball! <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, my eyes, my eyes. Look, are you happy, Red Bull? You've oh. killed him. So, if you want to do the honors on that one. I shall, I shall. Chroma key's fun. There's a good amount of like mist coming off of that. Well, maybe it's got a little more gas than the purple does. The nah. purple wasn't all that carbonated, but I didn't mind. You know, well, it might be good to point out that, like, with the, as you pointed out, the amount that you put into your mouth will make a difference. <laughs> What's the matter? We gotta give we gotta give the audience what they want. Giggity. And that's to see the poor. Nice kind of opaque fresca color. I was thinking Sprite, but it's well. Very Sprite is clear. This is opaque, cloudy. Yeah. yeah, like a fresca, like a fresca. Wait. <sighs> Not as pleasant as the straight up drink. So, the good news is that the drink itself isn't going to be chroma keyed Ooh. out. That is a very strong citrus. That is Sprite. It's uh now this this is more of a sour candy aroma, which it's the is it's very citric acidy. But it's also uh, very lemony. It's it's kind of like opening a box of lemon heads. Yeah, that's that's kind of what it is. But and yet it's just lime aid. Yeah, but I don't know. Lemons and limes are close enough. So oh, let's let's go. I, know, I noticed the difference. Time is a wasting. Fresca. I don't quite get fresca out of it. Sprite. Oh, wait. There's a little bit more sour to that. This is a little... uh, Refreshing. Yeah. Dell's Lemonade. Which I've never had. Ah. So. Uh, Sorry. The very frozen kind. I mean, something about this just makes me feel like it's cold. I get get that, that frozen citrus novelty dessert thing I, I get that there's a really unique flavor there i don't know if it has to do with um, Honestly, it the citric acid or zest it ta- it's like the lemon zest and just like the other drink this one is artificially flavored as well and also is just sweetened with uh ace k and sucralose so again uh no aspartame slash nutrasweet if you're you know into avoiding that sort of thing hmm the good news is my headache's going away that's the that's other good, good news 
And caffeine that's, content's the same. That's the real reason why I'm making sure we do another news for the caffeinated this week. It's just because I knew that I needed my fix. The end. Oh, and at the beginning of the show, I said, oh, we're doing Austrian energy drinks. These are made in Switzerland. So, But are they My fake? mistake. They're, so they're not an Austrian energy drink. I thought they were, but I, I guess at least that's manufactured in Switzerland. Mm. I don't know if they were founded in Austria. But it's, it's, um, it's, this isn't as good. But that's not to I say had, it's bad. I wish I had left a little of this so that I could, like, you know, have a fresh taste for our final scoring. It's pleasant. If you like Sprite or Fresca or any other straight-up citrus beverage, I could imagine you liking it. But very well hidden on the uh, on the artificial sweeteners again. Mm. But, yeah, it... It tastes like it would be great as a slushy. Yeah. That'd be really good. Or with vodka. You know, you say that, but this is very close to um, to a bar mix or like a Tom Collins mix. If you made a Tom Collins with this, that would be good. Booze for the caffeinated. Hey, it's worthwhile. I believe Red Bull's on sale at Shaw's right now. I mean, on sale as far as Red Bull goes. So it costs it like, as it much like, as everything else. It was like two for five maybe so these are mid-sized red bull cans so it's a little more acceptable but even then wait you know, these are, these aren't the no, regular the, these size? are these are 12 ounce oh right. these are right in between the little ones and the uh but they're the, so the grown-up size oh look at this little thing it's the awkward teenage size red bull <laughs> mom i'm going to my room you don't understand me i need my wings <laughs> <laughs> all right very fresh and tasty. All right, what are you thinking in terms of scoring on this? Well, um, <laughs> that's that's the real. Uh, as as a... far as melon scratchers go, that's a honey doodle, because I was not expecting them to be this good. I'm resenting you for saying the quote that was in my mind. <laughs> mm. But the thing that's just jumping out right ahead is the fact that this lime drink is so much better than that uh, lime seltzer we had from before. Lime seltzer. You know, the highball. So. I think I blocked that one out of my memory. Yep. Well, but we've <laughs> we've gone on for quite a while. The main camera's already turned off. So we're going to be. Did, I can push the button. You don't push the button. I push the button. It, it makes my life a whole lot more difficult. All right. Fine. Hmm? So we still have cameras B and C. So we'll use these cameras to finish off. Yes. All right, I'm going to, I think I've got to give that like a, oh shit, 6.57, because very well hit, a very good job For on both a both or one or the I'm other? I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide between okay. 6.5 and a 7. I'm thinking, I want to say it deserves a 7, because it's an energy drink that tastes like a soda, and it's a very familiar tasting soda. So it's like they imitated the other flavor and we're able to get the benefits of the energy drink and the added benefits of being sugar-free. So I'm going to give the uh, Limeade a 7. Okay, Limeade gets a 7. Yep. Um, I, I agree with that. It's it's good, it's familiar, it's tasty. You're it's, here. It's unanimous. Mm -hmm. 7! The only drawback? Probably the fact that uh, the price. The price and... Uh, bit on the sour side and it's not my favorite soda flavor now if you come up with a root beer energy drink that would be better and as for the so aside, on our next back of the fridge series we've got a ret we've got a root beer energy drink that we're going to dive into next time so we've wait, got what? that to look forward to this is new and you've got that to look forward to i'm looking forward to it <laughs> all right so now the purple the purple this purple. this was great um i'm gonna give it an eight it's See, I knew it. Called it behind. Called it as you were saying. It it's get it gets the eight. I wanted to go higher, but there's just the price point is so de detrimental when you can get an energy drink that's just as good, if not better, for cheaper. Because this is as far as Red Bull goes, this is really good. As far as the rest of the market goes, it's pretty decent. So you're kind of you got to compare apples to apples and brands to brands. But if Red Bull keeps this up, 
then they might be able to compete with those underdogs that they've been <laughs> stomping on for so long. Well, they've been losing market share to Monster for years. Wow, that was a weird hiccup. That was an awesome hiccup. <laughs> so, an eight for the purple mm-hmm. and a seven for the lime. Giving us lime aids. Lime aids. That's a different thing. Limards. Limards. Or as the French say, the mod. <laughs> okay. Mod, eh? Yes, indeed. To round out the Simpsons, Simpsons references quotes. What is that, the day. four, five? I don't know. How many, how many references did we make? Five. Let us know in the comments down below. Five. All right. I'm so a, how's your uh, how's your headache doing? Much better. I'm I passed out watching the latest episode of Sherlock, and I love that show. So that should say uh, just how uh, tired and how needing of the caffeine that I was. But it was piercing, like through and through. All right. Well, this has been news to the caffeinated. I guess it's time for us to go see how the sports ball is doing. I keep I keep wanting to look at that camera, even though I know it's off. Knock it the fuck off, man. So, so yeah, this has been awesome. Um, if you have, like, as always, if you have suggestions for drinks or things you'd like to see us do, let us know in the comments down below. If you like this video as much as we like this purple Red Bull, give us a thumbs up. But if you uh, took to this video like we took to that caffeinated seltzer from a few weeks ago, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Oh, down. that caffeinated But if there's seltzer. anything a little more complicated than that that you, can't, that, cool. that you can't address to us with the simple thumbs up and thumbs down, let us know in the comments. That's what they're there for. So, like I said, look forward in the coming week or so to a caffeinated energy drink root beer. This to give you something to look forward to. And, and look forward for a little to... while, just trying to find the right time to spring it on y'all. And look forward to uh, seeing some booze for the caffeinated where I'll be mixing and matching and seeing what works as far as energy drink mixers go. All right. And we're going to promise that for follow up Friday this week. So five, uh, two, three, four days from now. If it's not here, it's his fault. Then fist me in the face, a.k.a. punch me. Okay, I think we're done here. Here we are. Careful, man. There's a beverage here. No, there's not. We drank it already. Uh-huh. Well, I shotgun the rest of the seltzer, so maybe you should. Why would you do that? For content? <laughs> ah, that's good.